welcome to this video in this video we are going to learn about very interesting part of the project that is blog.php and it has unique concept so first of all you can download this file link is given in the video description and copy the part of the file carefully so above update so from here to till the end just copy it and paste it here simply and after that from update to till the end of the file copy and paste it here in update block so the key idea is in blog is very interesting you can post a picture and or you can tag youtube video if you have youtube channel you can promote your channel by using this website this uh, unique feature uh, so you can promote your youtube videos by uh, adding the link of your website in this way you can promote your website as well as your youtube channel so on facebook so simply you can assign the title of the post and you can uh, here select the option video or image so if image is selected then you uh, can upload the image of the uh, of of the blog or the post and if video is selected you can simply uh, tag the video so the link a specific unique link of the video that uh, given by the YouTube so look at the code here uh, here the post selection so the post selection is class from control name content cell so uh, content selection on change this function will be called so call this function and here is the function show input function so by using javascript you can do it so a variable select so document to select the content selection so what is the value of the uh, is if image is selected and or video is selected so if image is selected then the value of the sele select dot value so we can get the select dot value and the select if select is selection is equal to video then we will display the uh, field which is video link field then we are saying here if you don't know the javascript that document that get element by id by using id where id is equal to data and here is the id where data uh, id is equal to data so it means that the container where your yeah, div is where id is equal to data we can fill this HTML in it inside so it means that simply just uh, automatically JavaScript copy and paste it, it here so so label and uh, type is URL placeholder link and the error is uh, message is also displayed here so if you are going to select image so you know that the image code is given here so you can otherwise else empty nothing to display in data so initially if you look at initially so we don't have uh, any video image button or uh, link button so 
when I click video, nothing, video, link, image. So whenever uh, you can inspect the code and look at the code that is inserted by JavaScript automatically. So look at the here. And if I select image, then the code is automatically changed. And instead of a uh, button, so uh, instead of uh, uh, text field, here is button. So video, the code is changed. Instead of button, here is the field. So in this way, you can uh, insert post or video, which is very interesting method. You can watch this project and you can also click on share button and simply just copy the unique uh, name of the video instead of hold if copy paste and just copy the after slash string and paste it here video c sharp pose you can insert c sharp pose and you can also add the description here so you can copy the description from this and paste it to this so here you can enter the URL so for this change it into text simply video link and C sharp project for now ABP paste post is submitted and here is the content so even if you want to remove the description check I guess here on the content you simply remove this check because no need to so description remove simply description check it is for name so if I add, want to edit also uh, simply move here in update section where is the description check so here simply remove and here just I want to copy and paste edit submit and the data is successfully updated and the post description is here so you can also add view button after watching the view button video so this is also your task task number two and now the concept is same in both update and delete mode so how we can display the image and the uh, video so first of all by using status column this is the status column by using status value we can observe that whether uh, our post is video or image so by checking if raw is equal to status if it is status then simply display the image here which is here so we know that where are the images are so go to images folder and then go to blog folder and in blog simply display the image and you can uh, mention the width of the image and uh, height of the image which is 8080 pixel 
and if status is not image so which it means that it is a video so if it is video so simply click on share button and go to embed section you can change it in future so by using this code you can embed your video on uh, any website or by using uh, in uh, insert it into the HTML so simply copy and paste which is done already and just here put the code of the video so the www.youtube.com slash embedded and just change the uh, this just change this value uh, look at here uh, and try to understand the concept just add this dynamically add this string w a e 0 g z z just add this string and it will in, uh, insert the video and this uh, every video have unique string number unique string name id so you can mention here id just simply and in this way is added and now I want to insert image so image to file here image is selected and image post And also, whenever you click, there is also uh, one of the interesting thing that uh, this method is get the current date of the date and store it into the post date. So you can get the current date and uh, our current date and time. Uh, I am here uh, going to get only current date and you can store it into the post data so image is inserted and uh, image is here displayed here and the current date is inserted here so simply you can uh, insert image and uh, video so also whenever you click on update button and image is here and whenever you click on video button the video is here so by using if condition and status uh, variable status column you can guess uh, the video over image so get the data here status post title post content admin and after that here you simply display if the video then you can show the video and if image is available then show the image and at the time of submission the hidden value will go here two or three hidden values status so the name of the admin well, in this section in this uh, follow up section we are going to insert the admin id so admin id is here admin id 1 so we want to display the name of the admin with every post which is i will show you in next video so admin id is automatically inserted uh, look at here in blog.php here we uh, are going to perform insertion and look at the insertion uh, query is little bit diff different you know that the admin id in the variable log in id so log user id so here is the inside query and we are going to add log in id means uh, if login id 2 the, uh, is in this variable then it is inserted into the database so this is all about blog uh, see you in next lecture please subscribe our channel